How's it going guys? Odds and Ends RC here. It's been a while since I made a video, but I thought I would do a follow-up on my uh, Tamiya Grand Hauler. Um, I've worked on a while in the past and finally got the paint job done on it. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's uh, Tamiya Pearl Green and Tamiya Pearl White. I don't know if it shows up very good on the video or not, but it has a pearlescent effect to it in person. Uh, I think one's a TS-60 and one's a TS-45 and the Tamiya paints. Not 100% on that. But, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time on it. It turned out pretty good. Had a some trouble with some paint lines on it. It's kind of some hard hard paint lines to follow on this thing. Uh, had to add a little trim on it here and there to hide some stuff, but overall pretty happy with it. This is just the stock truck. I don't have any upgrades or anything on it yet. Uh, we'll be upgrading the wheels and the steps and the tanks. Uh, I don't really care for the wheels that are on it. They're kind of wobbly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Don't have any stickers on it. The kit comes with, like, a tribal design stickers you can put on it. And I went to apply one of them, and for some reason the stickers have like a, even though they're a clear background, they have like a yellow tint to them. And they just didn't look very good. Well, I stuck one on the back and it just had a yellow tinge to the background. It just didn't look very good on here, so I have to go with something else. I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> but overall, uh... Most Tamiya plastics, I mean, they're pretty much ready to paint. I just kind of scuffed them up a little bit. Didn't really have any defects or too much to deal with. There was a couple molding lines that I sanded out, I think, on the roof and stuff. But other than that, they're one of my favorite bodies to paint. <clears throat> the... Uh... <clears throat> The fenders and everything. I'll probably do some silver accents on it. The front too. Do a little silver accents. Um, do some trim painting on the steps and stuff. Just, just kind of it's bare format right now. But yeah, pretty happy with it. Got a radio in it and got it operational. Uh, one of my least favorite things about it is this visor up here. It just, it's not, it doesn't glue on very good. It's not a, there's not very many contact points on it. And if you were to bump it or anything, it probably would fall off. Uh, I used some CA glue on it. Actually, I started out with some epoxy and it just would not hold. So I came back with some CA glue, finally got it to hold, but that'd be one of the first things I'll upgrade. Uh, they sell aluminum ones, all different shapes and sizes for it, but wasn't too happy with that. As far as the mirrors and the stacks and the tanks and everything, they turned out pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. There's some stickers that come on here that look like straps, but they come with the kit, but they're uh, blue colored. And I'll probably get some wider pinstriping and do those in black. <clears throat> but overall, pretty happy with it. Uh, turn it on here. I'll show you I'm not too happy with the transmission on it. Let's peek at the inside. I don't have any interior, I don't have the multifunction unit yet. Haven't decided on that yet. Got the hitch hooked up manually. Um, I 
This is a radio I'm using with it. It's a cheap Fly Sky radio. It has a three position switch on it, so you can shift the uh, transmission with it. Switch on. Jack her up here. <clears throat> That's another thing I don't really like about these is the transmission. It's just a sloppy, sloppy. You kind of hear the slop in it, the transmission, the rear end. And it's geared way too fast. It's first gear. Second gear. It's third gear. That is way too fast. On uh, Actually, on the hardwood floor, if you got it in third gear, you could actually drift it. It's just too fast for what it is. Probably gear it down and go with like a two-speed transmission, something like that. And gear it down a lot slower. Um, but as you can see when it's going, the wheels wobble on it. They're just not formed very good. Just cheap plastic wheels. Uh, we'll try some extra speed aluminum ones. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Start making some more videos on it soon. I moved and haven't had a chance to make any. But, uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Anything you'd add to it or put on it, make it stand out. <clears throat> I don't have the uh, rear ends locked right now. They're unlocked, but it's fine. Makes it turn sharper. It's got some cheap servos in it. As far as these go, you kind of can shift them on the fly, but it's kind of hard on it. See how much it jumps and bangs around. <laughs> But, yeah, it's a start. Just start adding details to it and make it stand out. Well, thanks a lot, guys. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And I'll have some more videos soon. Thanks. Bye.